for an hour of conversation and music on Rolling Hills Radio. Rolling Hills Radio is being recorded at the Great Blue Heron Festival in Sherman, New York. Today's guests are Max Garcia Conover and Folk Faces. Now please welcome our host, Ken Hartley, with Adam McKillop. the New York State Council on the Arts Decentralization Regrant Program with support from the New York State Legislature and Governor Andrew Cuomo and administered by the Cattaraugus County Arts Council. Rolling Hills is underwritten in part by the Chautauqua Region Community Foundation and the Jamestown Gazette, the hometown newspaper with good news. Sponsorship is provided by the Great Blue Heron Festival and the Lakeside Ledger. Thank you, Julie Cecil Hanley, and welcome to Rolling Hills Radio. This show, Rolling Hills Radio, is on the move. As you can tell by my casual dress and laid-back attitude, we are at the Great Blue Heron Festival in Sherman, New York. We're here to help them uh, celebrate the 28th year of Great Blue Herons, 28 years, on Rolling Hills Radio. Yeah, 28 years. This festival is older than I am. So on Rolling Hills Radio, we host a variety of musical talent. On this show, you will hear grassroots Americana music from a wide 
range of genres. This episode features one of the finest and most exciting of the new wave of singer-songwriters. As well as our first act, they play what is described as rowdy jazz and bluesy roots. Their music pays tribute to styles of music that have been around for a long time with an excitement that dazzles and delights. Here with the, uh, the title song of their brand new album, Fat Old Rat, please welcome Folk Faces to the Rolling Hills Radio Stage. Who you are? Can you take a long drive in your car? In your car, you can drive around the world. Not give a damn. I'm in my life. Sleeping with a lion. When I first impressions, they get mighty old. I'm not sure if I'm jaded or bored. Good quarter, don't wanna be a victim of war. Well, three the devil and God to keep me company, but there's a fat old rat running down the sidewalk. I'm saving time. My tin foil blanket. Sometimes I say nothing about the world. Other times I sit alone and I don't say a word. No, I don't. Stand up, I put in perspective my overflow and couple like the kind of parties where I hang out with the dogs. Sitting in the corner like a bump on a log. Jump off the log, start out to run. Open up your eyes and you see something selling. Put on your coat, put on your hat. Say about the doll, that's all she wrote, man. Now I don't talk about money, cause it makes no sense. Makes people act funny, increase the confidence. No, I don't need a dollar, just give me a spy. And even if I had not pass it from my mind, cause my mind is wondering when my roots are playing. I'm always pondering and things I don't for granted. Really have time nowadays and think at all if you want to get together. Let's get a drink, give me a call. Oh, we can go meet up with our old good friend, Ken Hart. On the Rolling Hills Radio Show, we can go down to the Great Blue Heron and see all our old friends do some dancing and having some fun. Folk faces! Wow, you're dazzling. You people really are, Tyler. Thank well, uh, Tyler, I got a couple questions for you here. First of all, tell me, with, uh, this is a unique combination of instruments. We have, uh, you play banjo and, and guitar. Here we have a saxophone, an upright bass, and whatever that is. So, so did you decide, um, you said to yourself, you know, I'm gonna get a, a band with a, you know, a bicycle horn and a saxophone. Uh, or did, how did this happen? Uh, it, it came together. Uh, I'd say the, the band started about uh, seven years ago as a trio. It was an upright bass uh, player and a harmonica player, and myself on guitar and banjo. And uh, over time, certain people left and certain people came in. In this current form, we've been going for about four years, maybe a little four longer. Years. Like wow. this, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. This, in this formation. And uh, yeah. Great, great. Not easy to keep a band together for four years. Congratulations. Well yeah. done. Of course, I know, uh, I've gotten to know these four. They are wonderful human beings. They truly are. And, uh, yeah. You old honey dripper. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself. Uh, to, to, let's move right along to, uh, to Dan back here, Dan, Sh Dan Shawak on the, uh, what, what do you call it? Do you have a name for that? Washboard. Uh, the, oh, washboard. <laughs> It's a washboard, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with, with all kinds of things attached. You know, you've got the, the little bell and the horn and things like that. You wouldn't mind giving us uh, 15 seconds of the washboard, would you, Dan? <laughs> what a beat. It's hard to stand Thanks. still with that guy doing that. That's a uh, you got a, you got an album coming up in the next uh, well in just a few days right on 7-Eleven you have uh, Fat Old Rat coming out tell us about that. Uh, it's been uh, a long time coming, uh, maybe two three years in the making, and uh, 
It's got uh, 15 songs on it. And uh, yeah, we're really excited just to have a, 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 new, a new record out that kind of represents uh, what we're doing as a band and then Great. some. Great. And where, where can we uh, get a hold of one of these or hear it? Well, we're playing on Thursday for our CD release okay. at the Sportsman's, well, yeah. and, uh, and then it'll be available online on all the platforms eventually. All that stuff. And uh, yeah, if you write maybe. us an email or uh, message us on, on social media or give us a call, we'll send you one in the mail also. That's the personalized folk faces touch right there. Get your very own, just ask them. Well, you guys have another song for us, right? Yeah, sure. All right. Tyler's pushing some buttons there. That gives me a chance to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, from the Rolling Hills Radio stage, Folk Faces. <laughs> about them, visit folkfaces.com. Now we have a man uh, who grew up in western New York and started writing songs while making his living as a busker in Puerto Rico. He's toured North America and Europe now, sharing the stage with such people as Cat Powers, Justin Towns Earl, Lake Street Dive, The Weather Station, and Haley Hendricks. Um, the Portland Phoenix says this, man, this is some gorgeous stuff. Conover is a hell of a fingerstyle guitarist and he has an arresting vocal style with a ton of presence. Please welcome to the Rolling Hills Radio stage, Max Garcia Conover. My father said redemption is a slow revolving door, that Jesus was a poor man, but he's not poor anymore. And like he used to say to the first Apostle Paul, if you're stealing from a rich man, you're not stealing at all. Well, I don't come from money, but I've been around it some. 
My friend went to a college that was like a country club, and a hockey player left her lying naked in a hall. If you're stealing from a rich man, you're not stealing. Here we are, lost again. They're hungry, but they keep getting fatter. They know who's getting shot, and they're saying all lives matter. It's fee five fo fun fun to board a wall. If you're stealing from a rich man, you're not stealing at all. Well, you could call me Robin Hood, but Sonny, you'd be wrong. I don't take it, I don't give it, I just write it in a song. I'm a hypocrite, I admit a little bit a coward. I get jealous of the boys who exercise their will to power. So go ahead and get rich and play some golf, but when they start stealing from you, I won't fault them at all. Here we are, lost again. Hash some headline birds at bad guys win. It's endless. Netflix, death wish, racket. It's lawyers, it's hoarders, it's bankers. It's cabbage, it's one and done, bubblegum, capital, clatter, it's folk singers, secretly wanna be rappers. I know that you know this, I'm not talking at you. I don't wanna trick you, try to distract you. I don't want a trophy, I don't think I'm clever, I don't wanna win, I want something better. I want you to tell me when you feel it too, the gun in your chest when you're stuck in your room, the hope and the dread and the trembling hands and the song in your head that you can't understand, the hate in your heart that can maybe be loved, the hate in your heart that can maybe be loved, the hate in your heart that can maybe be loved. There's nobody coming, it's always been us. <laughs> and I don't want to be poor and I don't want to be theirs and I don't want to be yours and I don't want to wait for somebody to love there's nobody coming it's always been us I don't want to be rich I don't want to be poor I don't want to be theirs I don't want to be yours and I don't want to wait for somebody to love there's nobody coming it's always been us Let's go see a cow over. Great stuff, Max. You are writing songs like crazy. In fact, you told me you're writing songs so fast you don't even have time to put them on an album. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's that fast. It's just all I want to do is write, is write new songs. And, and I think it's a common problem, but I just write new songs and record them and then, and then uh, don't ever, you know, make a thing. Yeah, yeah, well, musicians aren't real good at making a thing. <laughs> I get that. Now, um, we live in interesting times. Does, does that have anything to do with your songwriting? Does that inspire you? Does that slow you down? Does that give you material? Tell me about that. Um, yeah, it's tricky. Uh, um, I think it, it does all of those things. I think it, uh, you know, it's, it, we live in kind of in times where the news is kind of constantly debilitating, and it makes you want to run away from it, and it makes you feel like you have to write about it, and and um, both of those things are, are wrong, and um, somewhere, you know, in the middle, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm sensing that there's a whole generation, uh, a new generation of great singer-songwriters coming up. You were certainly among them, but also Haley Hendricks, and you did some work with Haley. Haley's an amazing artist, first of all, and uh, you did some work with her. You toured with her, if I got that right, and you recorded with her. Yeah, no, we didn't tour together. We just I work with a label um, that's based in Spain, and they do this thing where they have two of the artists 
that work with their label um, come out uh, to, to Spain and live on this 500-year-old farm and uh, and make an album together. And it's got to be two people that don't know each other. So Haley and I oh. didn't know each other, and we just flew in, and we met each other, and over the course of a week, we, we made an album. Um, That's amazing. And uh, so there was some kind of chemistry that happened quickly, or tell us about that. Um, yeah, no, it was, it, was, it was terrible. It was an awful experience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, it was really hard, you know, because we, we had to write the songs, we had to get to know each other, um, and, uh, uh, and we were in this, you know, incredibly beautiful place and I feel like a lot of times when I'm in a beautiful place around people that are super kind it's hard to it's hard to I mean I think for me songs always come out of lack and 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 longing and so um, when you when you're in a place that's really really wonderful um, like I'm never gonna write a song at the heron for example <laughs> <laughs> and so it's hard but but um, Haley's wonderful and and uh, the, you know probably the most talented person I've ever gotten to be around and and um, so by the end of the week, it was great, but the first six days were bad. Yeah, the six, first six days were bad, well. <laughs> Which reminds me, the last five letters of her name, there's only one vowel. But anyway, Haley Hendricks, uh, uh, try to so spell that sometime. But at any rate, you, you're going to do a song now that, you, that Haley and you had an association with, right? Yeah, it was, this was the first song I wrote that week, and it was on the third day. So it was two days or pretty much three days of trying to write a song and not being able to, and, and, the, and the farmhouse was like, they still used the front half of it, but the rest of it was just like kind of this castle that had um, been taken over by uh, birds and dust and bat and co bats and cobs cobwebs and stuff. And, and um, so I kept going farther and farther back into the house, and I ended up in this little room um, with just like a hole in the wall and a fireplace and nothing else. And I sat down and I started playing these really simple chords and this little bird walked out of the fireplace and then saw me there and got upset and then flew out toward the hole in the wall and missed and hit the wall and then flew back and hit the other wall, flew back and hit that wall and then hit the door and died. And I wrote this song about that little bird. <laughs> Max Garcia Conover from the Rolling Hills radio stage. I saw the scatter light streaming down through the century trees. Blood fern and juniper, sweet eyed and shadow can weep. And I saw the clouds from the cabin, slate rock and teeming with storm. Carry on, bird got caught in the earth and killed by a collision. Feathers all over the floor. I'll be home where I go. I'll be home wherever I go. I'll be home where I go someday. Buckshot ring out in the distance. Over and over again. River the moon shiver. I saw my sister jump in. I saw my brother in Dallas He was quietly drunk every day He was gentle and kind and lost his mind Surprised when his wife went away And I saw the killers in their costumes And I saw their colonies burn And I saw them measure their money And whether they look like the people song and particle air. Her letter in my jacket, I carry myself down the stairs. Well, I know she treated me easy, and she found me wherever I was. Blood sung and burned up her sweet eyes, shadow came that never felt like enough. That never felt like enough. 
I'll be home where I go. I'll be home wherever I go. I'll be home where I go someday. I'll be home where I go. I'll be home where I go. I'll be home where I go. I'll be home in this tent with you. I'll be home here with you someday. Max Garcia Conover. Find out more about him at maxgarciaconover.com. We'll be back for the second half of the show with more from each of these wonderful artists and a creepy old song that we're all going to play together. You are listening to Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Harley, episode 88. If you would like to be part of our live radio audience, send an email to ken at rollinghillsradio.org. We'll be back after the break with more from Folk Faces and Max Garcia Conover. show begins in just a minute. Rolling Hills Radio is brought to you in part by the Jamestown Gazette, Lost Recording Studio, the Great Blue Heron Festival, and the Lakeside Ledger. If you would like to be included on the Rolling Hills email distribution list, send your email address to ken at rollinghillsradio.org. To hear this episode and all past episodes of Rolling Hills Radio, log on to rollinghillsradio.org. To see all past videos, as well as today's show, subscribe to the Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Harley channel on YouTube. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And now, back to Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Harley. Thank you, Julius Isla Hanley, and we have lots more to go here from the Great Blue Heron Festival in Sherman, New York. Great Blue Heron number 28. <laughs> It's likely that you're listening to this broadcast on a community radio station. Rolling Hills Radio is a non-commercial endeavor, and thanks to all the support from, all the support from donations, from uh, underwriters, sponsors, and our live audiences, you can find us on non-commercial outlets from coast to coast on Global Community Radio, as well as our channel on YouTube. That is Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hardley. It's, be a subscriber. It's fun. We're determined to stay independent of pressure to appeal to a mainstream audience. And getting out of the mass media means that you will hear things that you may not hear otherwise on other stations. For example, I recently heard that 40,000 people a year get bitten by cats in this country. <laughs> to be fair, there's no data on how many people bite cats. <laughs> so I was, I was listening to, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's move on. How about some more music? Folk Faces are about to play another song for us called Wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Folk Faces back to the Rolling Hills Radio stage. <laughs> I'd jump off the picnic table and in the kiddie pool on my bare knees I'd ride my tricycle off the porch and end up in the trees Wheels, wheels, wheels Always ending up with a raw deal Well, that break my bones Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone I gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone When I was eight years old and my birthday had a roller rink we had lots of balloons and soda pop to drink. My friend and I were playing hockey and he checked me into the wall. And I fell down that day, broke my wrist and took that fall. Through tears I opened presents and I had a slice of cake. At some point I fell asleep and the hospital I did away. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Always ending up with a raw deal. Will it break my bones? I gotta leave those goddamn wheels on. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone When I was 13 years old Skating with my friend Pat I was trying to do some tricks And on the concrete I went splat The very next day my ma She picked me up in the lane And I said, oh geez, mom, I'm 
kind of in pain I said I think I broke my arm The way we went soon Next thing I knew I was in the emergency room Wheels, wheels, wheels Always ending up with a raw deal Till I break my bones I Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone I Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone High school driving home from work one night, tension I wasn't paying. I was trying to figure out what that man on the radio was saying. I caught some tractor tracks and I almost hit a deer. And everything went black and off the road. I did serious. I rolled that tiny car three times down the embankment. Next thing I knew, I was surrounded by half the town, the ambulance, and the fire department. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Always ending up with a raw deal. Well, it breaks my bones. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Driving home from Saranac Lake when me and the band are taking a trip. The 18 wheelers flew by like big white snakes and they forced us on to the rumble strips. As we reached the seventh hour of a drive that took nine, I lost control, spun out, and went over the center line. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Always ending up with raw deal. Well, it breaks my bones. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Give me a ball, skis or a plane, but the wheels bring me nothing but a carnage and pain. Whether it's a unicycle or a skateboard, there's always a crash followed by a bill I can't afford. Up with a raw deal, will it break my bones? Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Well, I was driving through Texas in the hot sun. Up walks officer friendly to ruin all my fun. Well, they took my stuff and my baby to jail. They wouldn't give it back till I had a grand for bail. Crossed the Louisiana border and our engine up and died. So we sat on the side of the road and hung our heads and cried. About our dead wheels, 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 wheels. Always ending up with a raw deal. Well, it breaks my bones. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Now there was a time when I didn't drive. That was cause I was just happy to be alive. Now if I do, I go real slow. I still don't like doing it in the rain or the snow. Well, thanks for everybody listening to me and my whole long spiel. And if you know what's good for me, you'll keep me from behind the wheel. Oh, wheels, 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 wheels. Always ending up with a rod. Well, it breaks my bones. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Gotta leave those goddamn wheels alone. Well, I gotta leave those wheels alone. Thank you. Folk faces. How about that? Well, let's have a word with our wonderful sax player here, Ellen Perrone. How about it for Ellen? Wow. You can really step on the gas there. But you're very dynamic as well. Tell us, what's the secret to that? Because I, I once heard the, uh, the way to draw people's attention is to play real quiet. Do you play with dynamics when you play with these guys? Yeah, I, I think the, the most important thing is just making sure you're listening and responding to the musicians around you, no matter what you're playing. 
Yeah, I can see that. And you guys have been together for four years. Does it get easier as time goes on? Oh, I mean, now it's like autopilot. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have get kind of a, a, a synchronicity or a simpatico on stage after you've been knowing each other for a while. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Especially like when we come off of a tour, we're super tight and it just feels easy and fun. And, you know, there's no like real effort to it anymore. It just is yeah. a good yeah. time. <laughs> well, it really shows. I mean, standing up here with you guys, I can really feel the energy. I'm going to have a word now with, uh, we can make this thing work, can we? Okay. I'm gonna, we're going to have a word now with Patrick Jackson back here on the bass. Let's hear it from this guy. Now, Patrick, there are lots of things we can call this thing. An upright bass, a stand-up bass, a double bass. What do you like? Uh, I usually call it the wooden lady. Uh, I don't know, jazz coffin, something like that. You know? Usually I just like yell at people, should have played flute, and then like... I keep trying to shove it into a, you know, two-door sedan like an idiot or something. <laughs> right. Don't let your babies grow up to be bass players. How's that? So now, uh, Patrick, you host an open mic, and I have to say, open mics are really a generous thing to do because there are lots and lots of artists who've got their start with open mics. For example, Cami Inaharo, her first public performance after an open mic, one open mic, was Rolling Hills Radio and the rest is history. Um, how about you? You've, I'll bet you've met some wonderful artists and how long you've been doing it and where and all that stuff. I've been doing it uh, for about two years or so. One year officially, the guy I took over from got burnt out and then I was like the sub and uh, substituting for him and it was one of those things where he kind of fired himself and I slipped in. Uh, but I, I, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Buffalo, but there's a wonderful arts dri district called Allentown with plenty of water and hose. And there's a really weird bar covered in stickers and bad smells called Nietzsche's. And if you find yourself in Buffalo on a Monday, I will be there from 8 till, uh, till the cows come home, running an open mic where I have a lot of fun and get to meet really fun people. Well, there you have it. Go see Patrick on a Monday night at Nietzsche's. And uh, how about it? You guys got another song for us, right? Oh, sure do. All right, let's go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, Folk Faces. Well, a girl I didn't know who came from Buffalo said, come and move to the city with me. Well, I fell in love with the pot farmer's daughter. Her mother, she won't hurry about me. Well, those wannabe rock stars only care about their guitars. But I fell head over heels in love to see. Oh, I fell head over heels in love to see. Yes, it is. We had a good run, yes, we had a whole lot of fun, but she threw me for the ring and she broke my heart instead. To a mother's surprise, it was her who brought tears to my eyes while she remained unscathed. And it seemed like so long since we laughed and sang songs and used the dirty, polluted Genesee River water to bathe. We used that dirty, polluted Genesee River water to bathe. Yes, man. Stars only care about their guitars, but I fell at over years in love to see. When I fell at over years in love to see. When I Folk face, 
Faces. Folkfacesmusic.com is where you can find stuff about them. Their upcoming album's coming out, Fat Old Rap. Well, I can see that uh, Matt Garcia Conover is strapped on his guitar and he's ready for action. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Garcia Conover. I saw the devil, he looks like me. Moonlight on a dying tree. Early snow and a daughter dear. No, no, daughter, you're not safe here. No, no, daughter, you're not safe now. In the field with the frat boys mucking around, there's a wolf in the water, a snake in the weeds. But I saw the devil, he looks like me, my friend. Are these our lives? Are these our days? Are these our nights? Come, oh, my friend, I thought of you. That memory there was something to me too. And I saw the devil come swooping down like a fat kingfisher out mucking around like a cat in a river that's about to drown. All we ever really needed was some solid ground, but I was dreaming, scheming, pen to paper. Shy, naive little lady chaser, bright young man, awful sweet. Yeah, I saw the devil, he looks like me, my friend. Are these our lives? Glory days, our holy nights. Come, my friend, I thought of you. And in that memory, there was something to me, too. Come, my friend, have we changed at all? Do we drive to Vancouver? Do we sleep in your car? Did you move back to Cleveland? Take care of your dad. Did you ask him the questions? We were too scared to ask. He said, I don't need heaven. And I don't need hell. I don't know how this happened. But I know how it felt. The Canadian highway was endless and dark. He said, I don't need answers. Whatever we are, I just want to be here, making this up, at the edge of my body, at the edge of my love, cause I saw the devil, and he looks just like you, don't take it too hard though. I look like I'm too. Let's go see a Conover right there. Ah. Great songwriting. Great stuff. Now, Max, maybe you can give us a, a hint here. Now, you know, people think about artists as people who use the right side of their brain almost exclusively, you know, the, the creative part of your brain. Do you feel it's like that with you? Do you have trouble, trouble like, balancing your checkbook and finding places on your GPS? <laughs> Um, no, no. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's been a, that's that's been the tricky part about being a musician for me is that I I I, um, I do th I think I do think a little bit more, um, you know, structurally and logically and oh yeah and uh, and 
and music has been the harder the harder part for me as it, it's always been I've always had to work harder to sort of find my way into songs and find my way into into music and um, I mean and and like I love bands like Folk Faces, and they're very they're very rare where like they have both where the, the, the you can just follow the words the whole time and, and it'll be really satisfying, or you can follow the music and um, and that sort of yeah right right sorry but, yeah. well let me ask you this Max uh, um, I'm just wondering who do you folks first of all emulate or do you have heroes and if there's any one artist that you could pick out that is like Max Garcia Conover if there was no Max Garcia Conover who would you be? Are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> um, who would I be? Yeah, I mean, like Leonard Cohen's one that like has you know had a had a career where he was just yeah. you know good the whole time. Yeah, Leonard Cohen. That, that's a great try. The answer is a more vulnerable, slightly less cranky Bob Dylan. <laughs> you got another song for us, right? Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Max Garcia Cano. <laughs> small white town with a Puerto Rican mom and I thought a lot about how faded everyone around me was I was a socialist and a shy little dude I was playing Tupac in a Subaru and I married the first girl that I ever loved and I'm not smooth and I'm not tough but I thought I was Summers at the ice cream place and I ran from the cops on rollerblades and I heard my neighbor Joe shoot my dog. I was an after school poet on AIM, Colin Kerouac in my way messages and I went looking for her one night in Joe's backyard. And I'm never gonna wake Joe up. But I thought I was. I dance like Michael and write like Jay. I said, hey, mama, your son's coming up. And I thought I was. Sorry to everyone for selling you short. I was hoping there'd be more. I was a white looking kid from a small white town with a Puerto Rican mom, and I thought a lot about how faded everyone around me was. I wasn't cool, and I wasn't smooth, and I wasn't tough, but maybe nobody was. Max Garcia Cow right there, whoa. One of the greatest songwriters around today. Well, here in this beautiful place, experiencing Great Blue Heron Music Festival, we can feel true humanity, a place where nothing matters but humanity. Borders, languages, beliefs, country of origin, spiritual dogmas. Listening and dancing to this music, none of that matters. We are here together. A rhythm pervades this place. It's the heartbeat of what makes us all a member of this tribe. That is the tribe of true, compassionate, and our primordial nature. So we're about to play a song that's distinctly American, of a song of unknown origin, although it first came to the 
general attention of the public in 1928 when Louis Armstrong made it famous. Since then, it's been done by Joe Cocker, Ricky Lee Jones, uh, Snooks Eglin, Yo-Yo Ma, and many, many more. It has a very complicated history, but ended up with this most recognizable version that we'll play right now. It's an American classic, St. James Infirmary. St. James Infirmary To see my baby there She was laying on a long white table So sweet, so cool, so fair Went up to see the doctor She's very low, he said Went back to see my baby Good God, she's lying Square. The usual workout was a symbol. Oh, Ken Hartley was there. He was standing at my shoulder, and his eyes was bloodshot red. He turned to the crowd around him, and these are the words he said. Went down to St. James Infirmary, oh, I saw my baby my table so cold so sweet so fair let her go let her go let her go let her go god bless her wherever she might be she can search this she can search this whole wide world over never gonna find another man like me now roll out your rubber tired carriages roll out your diamond well there's 12 men going to the graveyard only 11 men are coming back. Well, hotty, 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 hot. Oh, 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 she was so cold, so sweet, so fair. Please bury me My cowboy boots and a stairs and hat Put a red hot jazz band on top of my hearse wagon And raise the little hell as we roll along I went down to that St. James and Fundry. I saw my baby there She was stretched out on a long white table So cold, so sweet, so fat Well now that I told my story Gonna take another shot of the booze And if anyone should ever happen to ask me I got those St. James Infirmary Blues Let's hear those kazoos, let's go! Thank <laughs> you. 
very much for sharing your time with us. That's Max Garcia Canova. These are folk faces. I'm Ken Hardly. We'll see you next time on... to Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hardley, episode 88. Special thanks to the great Blue Heron staff, Blue Heron music coordinator David Tickwist, and our host today, Steve and Julie Rockcastle. A great big rolling thank you to Max Garcia Conover and Folk Faces. The Rolling Hills Radio cast and crew are Steve, Sound Faces Chapel, Brianne State Manager Face Cadell, Lori Photography Face Savory, Kathy Boss Face Hartley, and Video by Cranky Face Productions. I'm Julia Cisla Hanley, and I've got my announcer face on. Please join us next time on Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hartley Face.